This is a combination of two exercises. Exercise 834A using the fillet command and 835A using the chamfer command. I'm in the drill jig drawing in the steps lesson 8 folder. I'm continuing where I left off at the end of the exercises for trim and extent. You can enter the fillet command by typing fillet or F at the command line. Alternately, you can select fillet from the tool palette. Let's start by changing the radius. We'll make our radius a quarter inch. Now AutoCAD wants us to select the items that we're going to fill it. I'll select this line and this line. Notice that AutoCAD fillets the lines while trimming the edges so that you don't have extra line drawn in there. Let's repeat the command. This time we're going to use a shift select. When you hold down the shift key during selection at the fillet command, AutoCAD will automatically give you a nice square corner. Let's repeat the command again and see what happens when we try to fill it parallel lines. We'll select this line and this line. Notice that when you select parallel lines, AutoCAD calculates the distance between them and creates an arc or a fillet between the two lines. The chamfer command can be entered at the command line typing chamfer or CHA. Alternately, you can select chamfer from the tool palette. We'll select the distance option and we'll set our distances at a quarter of an inch. Notice that the second distance, these are the distances back on the lines that you select for your chamfer. Notice that the second distance defaults to the first distance. You can have different values if you want. We'll accept that default and we'll select our lines. We can repeat the command. AutoCAD remembers the settings you used last time and we can chamfer the other side. Here we will save our drawing and finish.